What's up, everybody? I just want to record this really quick video showing you some really, really awesome tech with AI and with 3D. So essentially, Google came out with this Google AI Studio. You can share your screen. Google will watch your screen and you can talk to the AI and ask it questions. So we're going to open up Blender and uh, we're going to talk to the AI and be like, hey, how do I do this and see what it says? This is absolutely amazing. I tested it out already and uh, Wow, so here we go. So yeah, you can go here to the AI studio and uh, we're just gonna hit share your screen. As soon as I do, it's gonna start talking to me. So I'm gonna choose Blender. Okay, you're choosing Blender. Is there anything specific you'd like to know about it? Yeah, can you show me how to create a uh, UV sphere? Sure, I can show you how to create a UV sphere. Do you wanna create it in the current scene or in a new one? Uh, the current scene, and also my hotkeys aren't the same as Blender's standard hotkeys. Okay, so you want to create the UV sphere in the current scene, and your hotkeys are not the standard ones. Let's start by adding the UV sphere. To do this, go to the Add menu at the top of the viewport, then select Mesh, and then select UV sphere. Awesome, that was super helpful. How would I uh, make this thing look a little bit smoother? Sure, to make the UV sphere look smoother, you can use the Shade Smooth option. You can find this by right-clicking the object and selecting it from the context menu. This will smooth the normals on your mesh and make it look more like a smooth sphere. That's looking a lot better, but it still has some sharp edges. What could I do to uh, smoothen out the edges of the sphere? Okay, to further smooth the edges of the sphere, you can use a subdivision surface modifier. In the right side menu, click on the wrench icon to access the modifier tab, click add modifier, and select subdivision surface. This will smooth the sphere by adding more geometry and make it appear smoother. Where is the subdivision surface in the modifiers? The subdivision surface modifier is under the generate category in the add modifier menu. If you click on generate, it will show you a list of available modifiers, one of which is subdivision surface. That was very helpful. I want to make this look like it has a metal uh, sheen to it. How do I do that? To make it look like metal, you need to adjust the material properties. Select the sphere and navigate to the materials tab, which is the sphere like icon in the right side menu. From there, you can add a new material and change its settings to make it look like metal, including its color, roughness and metallic value. Would you like to know more about how to configure these properties to make it look like metal? Yes. Can you show me how to make it look like metal? Yes. To make it look like metal, start by setting the metallic value to 1. Then, you can adjust the roughness value to change how shiny or matte the object appears. A lower roughness will create a shinier metal look, while a higher roughness will make it look more matte. The color can also be changed in the base color setting. Would you like me to show you what each of these options does in the software? So this um, is, to me, absolutely wild because not only can you do this, I mean, this was just really quick showing you guys in Blender that you could see my screen. It's I can ask it, ask it questions over and over and over, get different things to help me. But if you're new to a software, maybe you're struggling understanding, this might be a great way. I mean, even for me, just like asking hotkeys or asking just little things while I'm working, super helpful versus me going on Google and searching through a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm really interested to see where this technology is going. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We'll see ya.